Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Switchio. Switchio is a new DEX which stands for Decentralized Exchange. And moving forward in the crypto space, I think uh, decentralized exchanges are going to be used a lot more. Now, Switchio is quite new, so they are still going to be adding new features and I'm not getting paid by them, I'm not getting sponsored. This is purely because I wanted to gain access to the Apex tokens. So I will show you a brief overview and how to use Switchio right now in this tutorial. Okay, the first thing you need to do is navigate to switchio.exchange and then starting on the left, this is where all the pairs are. So if we scroll down here, we'll use CPX as an example, which is Apex. Click on that. Now you can buy it here and you can see that there's nothing under our wallet balance because we're not logged in. Okay, or you can sell it here. Now here are all the sell orders and here are all the buy orders. Now you have the price chart here and all the trade history here. Now you can log in here or you can log in over on this side if we click on this. Now you can use a JSON file or an encrypted key or a private key. Now Switchio doesn't support a hardware wallet like for instance the Nano Ledger S which is the one I use. Uh, but they do plan to. So I take extra precautions uh, and I use a burner Neo address, which I'm going to show you how to do that right now. It's pretty simple. You just create another address uh, and when you're finished doing your trades, you send everything to your main address. My Neo address is actually on the ledger, but if you've got another one, you'd obviously send it to that. Okay, so we'll leave this here for now. And what we'll do is we'll go to neotracker.io and this is where we can create our wallets. Now, we remember we want to create two. If you haven't already got a Neo wallet, you want to create one that you use for nothing else but just for storing. And then you use one for a burner, which is what we're going to use on Switchio. So if we click on wallet, come over to new wallet. Now just enter a password. I'm just going to create a basic one just for uh, this demonstration. And then click on create. Okay, now it's important to download this encrypted key and I always store them on a um, external USB or an external hard drive. Okay, for now, I'm just gonna put on the desktop for this tutorial. Just click on save. Now continue and this is your private key. This is also important. You can put this into a text file and save it on the same USB or wherever you put your encrypted key. Now, I can also click on this print paper wallet Okay, and you can print this and put it on the USB as well. Uh, it's good to have it as a reference. Okay, click on continue. Okay, so now we have our address. Let's go back to the uh, Switchio exchange. Now what we need to do is we need to put in our encrypted key that we just downloaded. So we'll click on that and we need to put the encrypted key in here and obviously our password that we created the wallet with. Okay. So I'll come down here and I'll just uh, double click on this to open it up and then I'll grab the encrypted key for the address, right click and copy, just minimize this and just paste it in here and then I'm just going to put in the password that I used to create the wallet with and just log in. Now it's going to decrypt it and then we're going to log into the exchange, okay? So you'll notice there's no balance right now. Um, because this is a brand new wallet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Binance and I'm going to send some NEO to NEO and I'll also you'll need gas. I'll send a little bit of gas as well into this wallet and then we'll go from there. Okay, now just bear in mind that any transactions that you make from a NEO address like on an exchange to the NEO address that you're going to use in Switchio or any transactions that you make in Switchio can be delayed a little bit. So this can take, you know, a couple of minutes, maybe a little bit longer. In some cases, when you're doing a withdrawal from Switchio into your uh, wallet, 
It may take a bit longer. Um, I had one case where it took a couple of hours, so but it just depends on the network and what's happening. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so the two Neo has arrived, which you can see here, and I also have some gas. Now, the way that you can buy, let me just change this to CPX. Now, the way that you can purchase is you can, for example, if you want to make an order here, uh, and not get the market value for the, the current market value then you can just click on one of these for example and then you can set your own price in here so if you wanted to go lower than this you know if you wanted to try and get a bargain then you could set this lower for the purpose of this video I'm going to actually go for the market value right now which is this one now you can see that I click on that it automatically puts the price up here and it's showing 44 in total but obviously I've only got two so all I've got to do is just drag this back a bit and then just drag it forward and now it'll be two and that's, this is how many I'm going to get I'm going to get 757 uh, CPX or Apex so now I'm going to click on buy okay and this will come up now you can have a look at this pause the video but I'm going to place the order okay now you see that it's pending here. here here it comes here so it's been broadcast okay you can see it's confirming here as well uh, and it's gone back in pending but this will come back and confirming again uh, now these can take a while, like I just mentioned, these can actually take a while, sometimes they're a bit faster, so I'm going to minimize this, and we'll just wait a couple of seconds, and if it takes a little bit too long I'll pause this video, but I'll wait a couple more seconds, um, actually you can see there's an order gone through here, so hopefully that's our one, so it's taking a bit longer, so I will pause the video okay so it only took a couple of seconds after I paused the video okay you can see it's in a success now you can see over under our contract balance here is our balance here okay let me just uh, get these out of the way okay so now these are actually on the exchange these are not on our wallet okay these are in the contract on the exchange so what we need to do now is we need to withdraw into our wallet into our actual wallet okay so we're going to click on withdraw We'll get another transaction pop up in here. Actually, no, you won't. Yeah, you will. Yep, here it is here. And now, this can take a while. Uh, and sometimes you can see here that it's actually still showing the two Neo. Okay. Now, sometimes if you try and withdraw too early before there's been enough confirmations, you might actually get an error over here. Now, I'll show you what I mean. Here's another burner address that I used the other day. You can see down here I've had a few fails, and that was for that exact reason. Okay, so you can see it's still showing in here. Okay, so now it's disappeared. Now it's not showing under our actual wallet balance yet. However, I have found that sometimes if you um, refresh the browser after you know a minute or so, it will actually show the balance in here. So if I do that. And let's see if it shows our balance. Now sometimes on the network for some reason this can take a while as well um, to update. Sometimes I do it a couple of times uh, just to try and refresh it faster. It just depends what's happening on the Neo network. Okay, so you can see it still isn't reflected in here. Okay, so it can take, you know, a minute or so. So I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back. Okay, that only took a couple of seconds again, uh, but you can see that it's reflected in here now. So now if you didn't know a, um, about the Neon wallet, I use this. Uh, so let me just um, let me just get this. Okay, I'm going to get the encrypted key. Put it in here and I'll put in the password. I'll leave the link for this in the description. Let's log in. We should see this balance now on our wallet. Okay, so you can see it here. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Now, you might have noticed also that I'm using Brave, the Brave browser, and that's for security. I find that anything that I type into a browser uh, if it's private key related or encryption related or anything I'll use this browser just for an extra you know layer of security and those are my settings so you can pause the video on that okay 
So I'll leave the links for the Neon Exchange and for the Switchio, uh, and I hope this video helped you. Now, if you haven't already, um, please subscribe, and uh, if you hit the little, and don't smash the bell button, caress it, <laughs> be gentle on it, and uh, then you'll get notified of any new tutorials. And if you've got any suggestions for any tutorials you want to see within the crypto space, leave a comment below, uh, and I'll do my best to uh, get one organized for you. Take care.